next speaker is Professor Ashok Datta from the National Heart Foundation and Research Institute. He will speak on how and when tea stenting and TAP, a case-based discussion. In the meantime, until his slides go up, there is an announcement. Uh, at the training village, we will commence the session on introduction to rotablation system and also an accompanying talk by Dr. Aftab Khan on cracking calcium in coronaries. So if there are any participants who have registered for that at the training village, you may proceed to the Surma Hall on the first floor. Yeah. Professor Ashok Datta, please. Yes. My honorable chairpersons, uh, my dear teachers, and uh, my dear colleague, good afternoon. My topic is tea and tap. Okay. Tea and tap. Tap means tea and some pertussion. Most used as a provisional stent strategy, as my previous speaker told. In provisional st strategy, uh, it's a bifurcation lesion stenting by a single stent technique from main vessel to the main branch. Side branch is kept alone. If the side branch is compromised, T or TAP is used as a bailout stenting. There is other term that is called provision that is called inverted provisional stenting. When, suppose there is a lesion in the circumflex ostium, putting a stent from the left main to the circumflex and washing the LED ostium, if the LED ostium is compromised, then uh, a stent in the LED ostium, covering the LED ostium, that is called inverted provisional stenting, that may be by either tap, T, or by culotte, or even inverted crash. There are three ways to bail out uh, in provisional stenting to treat the side brands, that may be the T or TAP, reverse crash or cold. Uh, what are the difference between the T and TAP? The only, uh, when the angle is 90 degree, the typical T is possible. If the T uh, angle is more than 70, then TAP is feasible. But if the angle is less than 70, TAP is not possible, but in certain circumstances, it is possible. If the, suppose there is lesion in the LED and diagonal, LED is four millimeter, diagonal is 2.25 or uh, 2.5. So LED is a huge artery. In that circumstances, like this in the Lord Pixel, uh, if the LED and diagonal both are large size, angle is less than 70, tap not possible because carina will be hugely elongated and that will touches the opposite side of the main branch. But if the small branch, even with less than 70 degree angle, it is possible to do the tap. You will see it in uh, EBC website. So this is the steps of taps that is taken from the EBC website. Oiling of the both vessels, Predilatation of the main vessels, stenting the main vessels to the main branch, port, sorry, there's some. Yes. So, oiling of the both vessels, balloon predilatation, in case if we go for uh, upfront two stent strategy, both branch should be balloon dilated. If there is provisional stenting, only the main branch should be dilated. Then stent from the main branch to the main vessels to the main branch, keeping the wire gelled. And stent size should be as per distal vessel. Uh, this is a, an example of classical uh, T stenting when the angle is 90 degree left hand bifurcation. It is rarely the case is, is seen like this. Sometimes, even in 90 degree angle, when the oil is put in the LCX, the angle becomes less. So this is the typical example. Tap, this is an example of tap from the LED to diagonal. Where all steps are followed here. 
Pre-dilatation uh, usually done in sequence, LED and diagonal. First LED, then diagonal. Then extending the LED across the diagonal. Then uh, recross to the LED, uh, recross the uh, diagonal through the LED stent. In C balloon dilatation of the LED stent and second stent in the diagonal. Deployed at nominal pressure. Pull back of the diagonal stent balloon, final casing, and final pot. Definitively, IVAS has a good role in all cases of bifurcation stenting. What is balloon-assisted tap? This is the example of balloon-assisted tap. Because sometimes when we put the side branch stent, it is difficult the movement of the patient, stability of the uh, catheter, and stability of the side branch stent is very much difficult to maintain. In these circumstances, this is a very good technique, balloon-assisted tap, where the balloon in the main branch is inflated at four to six atmosphere, and pulling back of the side branch stent, it is done. What is faulty tap? Sometimes protrusion of the side branch stent is too long, so there is large carina. In that circumstances, carina may touch the opposite wall, so that should be corrected or rectified. How it can be corrected? It can be corrected by just crashing or reverse crash technique. The main branch balloon is pulled back and crash it, then recross the side branch, post dilatation, finally kissing balloon, final pot, and result will be the excellent. So T and TAP are technically the same and similar procedure. T is limited to the perforation lesion when the angle is 90 degree or close to 90 degree. TAP may be applicable in 70 degree or more than 70 degree. Uh, there is single recrossing through the single layer of piston in TAP. So that is the most advantage that produce the procedure more simple, rapid, and less hardware and less metal mass is there. Final kissing balloon and port, as in all two stent strategy, are very important step. And final result is more important than the technique that we used. And technique used depend on operator's skill, familiarity, choice, and of the particular technique, as well as hardware available in your cath lab. With this, I like to thank everybody from Catholic team of our hospital.